got information. Okie dokie. Quiet on the set. Getting ready to go live on the radio. Zoom Room Video. Sponsored by the VMC. <laughs> all right, all right. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB, Radio Free Britannia. Coming to you live from Deltona, Florida, with two idiots misinterpreting the news so you don't have to. Lunch with Laz and Jack. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack and Lily. And Lily. Hi, Lily. Interpret the news so you don't have to do anything other than question your own personal life choices and ours. Because Lily has decided that she wants to be off my shoulder and on the back of the chair. Now she's on Mm -hmm. the desk. Waldo, starting us off, Fruck Awesome Friday, doing it right. And oh, Waldo's got him to get himself a copy of Bunjalot, Shattered Lambs. Woohoo! And was that Bridge Troll? That's yes, Bridge it Troll. Was. <laughs> right I was after looking that. over here, but it, because, because of Waldo, he found Waldo, and we're going to pit it. On Frock Awesome yes. Friday. Waldo is going to get himself a copy of Clutch. Tell me if you got... Uh, not Waldo. Uh, Bridge Troll. Waldo's got Dungelot. Yeah, and, and I forgot the, the, the map number for the Raging Pin. There it is. What is it? 11? 11? Yes. But the I pin actually had is to, loading uh, on my I'm, side. I'm, I'm I'm still loading marbles, so marbles was not oh, preloaded this morning. <laughs> you, you, you know what? I'm so special that you have the giveaways already. You open even have a giveaway screen. open? Yeah, I got to do it that started. too. Giveaway I have is now marbles open. Loaded. Uh, we I just need people to show up and do exclamation mark play and exclamation mark I love free shit to join in and lily's trying to eat the knobs on the microphone right now so uh we'll let her do that and I'll let you guys complain about like the weird sounds coming from my crunch microphone. crunch crunch yeah it, um it's some um, am asmr sponsored by lily there you go yeah but yes tina it's decided to go models. with there the blue is. balls um yes mike knobs 
There's only one Aging on the front. Aging like Three or two on the back, so. But she always eats the front one on the front, and now she's a. Uh, she 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 wants to like rub up against the microphone. All right! Exclamation play on both sides! Exclamation! I love free shit on both sides. And not only that, we're going to be clicking that start button in three, two, one, start. And I did see Laz got in on my side this time. I did. Got a shout out. Stymie is here on the set today. Feeling a Condis' normal seat. <laughs> Stymie, yes. good to see you in game, hanging out with us. I see Justin snuck Welcome. into the race there. Justin's out there today. Hi, Justin. Yes. And Bridge Show wants everybody to note that long live the syndicate. Long live the syndicate. Stymie LLTS. And the syndicate's what, 23 years old now? They're old. They are old. <laughs> the the longest lived guild in the world or something like that? Yes, they, they have the world record for the oldest guild online ever and i don't think anybody will <laughs> and i don't think anybody will ever catch that nope. but speaking of catching that you're gonna have to catch that lead marble here in a second the real question is what is lily licking on my desk because i don't see anything there she's just licking my desk but Irish, Irish eyes the with the one. quick drops. Look at that. Both yeah. sides. Both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Preston Irish John. The early lead. Let's see who gets ejected before the. And Laz was ejected first. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Tina now in the lead. But the, those little mixers are confusing everybody today as uh, we haven't even made it to the hamster ball yet. Or. They're the they're spinny, hamster ball in this spinny, one. Spinny, yeah, spinny I'm try, try, trying to trying to think of what what we would call that the spinner spinny tube tunnel. Yeah, spinny tunnel. Preston ejected. Uh, Justin now in the lead, and the, the clan of the wolf is what twenty. I was ejected. 21, 20, 21, 22, 20 second birthday coming up, something like that. So you're ejected on both sides sides, lads. Both sides, I'm out. Uh -oh. Everybody has increased odds of winning. Yes. Yeah, Irish eyes and Tina battling it out yeah. there. No eating my earbuds. Econdus was e just ejected as well as Tina and Irish eyes. We're down to three people on my side. Myself, Justin, and Sagewise. Dennis is ejected. Ju Justin has a massive lead on oh, everybody Justin. she has made it down to the pin Econdus ejected tina is the first one to the pin on this side yeah. botox trying to get there irish eyes and justin within reach to get there before he gets popped my 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 earbuds are tasty thanks to all the earwax <laughs> justin gets there and gets popped up by the pin first and she's gonna drop on through the hole uh oh, I, I have made it that to the win. pin as well. So we've got two people. Sagewise oh, is Justin. now at the pin as well. So three people at the pin. Who's going to be popped up first? That's the question. And I think Lily just likes batting. Sagewise and myself, but Sagewise has an early lead. And Sagewise is victorious. And Lily has gone back to eating the microphone. <laughs> Does that sound actually come across or no? Uh, just a little bit. Okay. Um, Sagewise, sending you some scrolls right now. And Waldo with 300 bits. So it's time to mm. turn around and do the fun thing of pulling a game key for Waldo and sending him those bits. And make okay. sure you're all raffled up. As soon uh, as everybody finishes up this track, Tina, 
Was in first, comes in last, <laughs> but at least he finished. Okay, and, and uh, Waldo's getting himself a copy of Spirits of Metropolis Legacy Edition. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, there you go. All right, closing out the giveaway. Picking ourselves a wiener. And Waldo, congratulations. That, that's three game keys so far for today for Waldo. Hey, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Well, Waldo's going to get himself a copy of Making History, The Calm and the Storm Gold Edition. The Calm and the Storm Gold Edition. Sweet. Yeah. Congratulations, okay. Waldo. Adding, adding to that base of games. That one was $4.99 on Steam. Didn't get a chance to check the other ones earlier. Rigged. <laughs> yes. Yes, Bridge Troll. Rigged for the guy that tips a lot of bets. Next giveaway if, is if now open. On my stream, uh, I'll, I'll make sure you get a game key. Especially if you do 300 bits. Absolutely. 300 <laughs> bits will get you an automatic pick. So, we got so, some good news out on the Tweeterverse. So, uh, you didn't like that new loading screen, huh? Oh, fuck it, no, that's it, a it, it, atrocious it, it, picture. Is There's a whole bunch of uh, new ones like yeah, that, and I noticed them right off the bat, and I was I was sort of like the same uh, thing you did. It was, it was a WTF this, moment. This, this, oh, this, is, that. this was my loading screen today, and this is an atrocious-looking picture. I know it's a stylized picture of Lord British's castle taken from the point of view, but... <clears throat> I mean, it, 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 what, what's that app that you can download on your phone that automatically generates a picture in different painting styles? Uh, it just looks bad, though. Yeah, Ridge Trail says, why the tune filter? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, oh, man. It, 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 this made my eyes bleed and me cry. So. It, it's, it sort of reminds you of an 8-bit uh, rendering of... Uh, Azorian, actually, I, I think they're uh, a lot lower resolution and a lot uh, lot worse than the other ones that were there, to be, be honest with you. But Stymie's going to keep the trend going with the sub. Oh, a tune shader. Yeah. That means yeah. Stymie's going to get a uh, chance to pick himself a track, get uh, the next giveaway going. Yeah. Stymie, give us a track number. I, I will say that I absolutely love the loading scenes in a, a cyberpunk. Pack 48. <clears throat> um, just because. Yeah, I still can't pull video. the trigger on that yet. Maybe what? maybe once it gets a little bit more. I, yeah. You, you know what? You can get the best uh, um, melee weapon ever. A, you can run around and beat people with a dildo. I mean. And you're not pulling the trigger on it. Um, why not? I mean, it's like it is. It is phenomenal. It is so entertaining. Um, although I generally don't play melee characters, but it fr was fun to run up to uh, people and beat them with the the dildo. Beat them with a dildo. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation mark! I love free shit and exclamation mark play on both streams because we are clicking start in three two one start oh submarine mike he likes to delve into the the nice wet moist deep <laughs> channel he, he's a seaman what moist wet deep channel right yes absolutely <clears throat> Playing the Bongo Boogie. 
Baba Booey. Okay. And <laughs> Bongo I don't hear much of that Boogie. anymore. What, the <clears throat> Bongo Boogie? No, Baba Booey. Or Baba Booey? I don't know. Uh, Submariners do it deep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds. Uh, that, that makes me want to op open up YouTube and come over here and uh, do a certain pirate song. Um, let me see if I can get the link to it. <laughs> Why don't you just play it in game? Uh, because I can't. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, there, 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 where, where are we going? Uh, there we got you Botox. go, Submarine Mike. Hitting uh, the first Tina, bongo. <clears throat> Tina in the early lead. You should definitely listen to that song because it is glorious that I just linked uh, in my chat. So, Tina the Dorian, still in the lead. lead. There's not a lot of rejections on Bongo Boogie, but it does have uh, sound effects. Depends. Depend, depends on how the marbles bounce. Well, I mean, it, there's the occasional ejection, just not as many as some of the other maps. And Tina making his way through the humps into the little bowl and into... The victory. Oh, and Azori wait. and the Fresne. See, NDN News, Stymie, Tina, Sage Rise, all ejected. There he goes. <laughs> okay, so the, there, there are two ejections on my side. Te <laughs> myself and, and uh, Irish Eyes. Four on this side. Yeah. Azorion, what's your in game name? You got one of them names okay. that eludes me. Tina. You're getting scrolls in your mailbox. They are there as soon as you go to your mailbox. Oh, it's Azori and the Fresne. Yeah, okay. That's why it eludes me. It's actually the right uh, name. Uh, uh, <laughs> well, lots of things elude you. Well, yeah. It is what it is. Okay. Only 200 bits shy of the next game of marbles on my stream. But it's time for us to talk about the Tweeterverse and what Chris has been posting. Which has been some interesting stuff, to say the least. Uh, it's got quite a few people confused. And uh, we so, got some posts to go along with that as well. And uh, I, yeah, so, I did a little research on top of that. So we'll talk about all that and more here. After we oh, finish we the Tweeterverse. I actually did some research and I need to open up a yes. 12 pack of Diet Dr. Pepper and pull out a new can because 21 now hours ago <clears throat> and we need to pull a winner that's what we need to do uh you need to you need to pull out a wiener pull out a winner yeah and hazori and the fresne <laughs> congratulations for the double win congratulations okay let's see Next giveaway is what? open while I find Azorian's prize. And Azorian's got a copy of Eternity, the last unicorn. Oh, I, I believe that's actually a, a 18 plus game um, as well, I think. 1999 um, on Steam. Congratulations, Azorian. Yeah. And, and Tina loves scrolls in, in his box because he gets all the good hard scrolls. Uh, 21 hours ago, Chris tweeted out, and this is why we have a QA server for testing. Looks like some change, definitely not mine, has borked the QA server investigating, <laughs> but it's down for a little bit. You, you, you know not what? his. Yeah, not his. Not his fault. Not his fault, but someone had a patch there. Um... QA server should be used for everything. Way too much stuff goes straight into production without being QA'd. But 16 hours ago, 
Okay, got the issue fixed. I'll get the QA build in an hour or so with six times the XP. No, that won't go live, but I figured no one would come test on QA for 50% more XP. Now, I, I, I would actually love for like, how is that XP actually done to make sure that the functionality that Chris included really works? Wouldn't it be better to say, okay, from this hour to this hour, it's going to be double XP, this hour to this hour, four times XP, this hour to this hour, six times the XP, and please um, we, we'll Check get out. to that when we get over to this topic that was posted in the forums. And again, I yeah. did a little little checking just to see, and I, I don't I don't get it. Or should we do that before we uh, go to the rest of... Uh, well, let's just read the rest uh, of these real the, quick. The rest of them are, are, are relatively quick. Um, 16 hours ago, also... Uh, okay, the new QA build was just published, but not for the Steam patcher. Steam API is having some issues. And I needed to get this live tonight, so pushing it without an official Steam patch, I'll try and get it that live in the morning. And two hours ago, Chris just verified the new XP code is working as expected, so we can once again do XP boost weekends. Next challenge is doing our first live build since patch apocalypse and trying to test it. <laughs> Ooh. Alrighty, uh, so oh, click on the two hour, and uh, uh, two hours ago, so thirty three. Is it you said six x for testing on QA, but people are only seeing one point five x. However, the one point five x, the current rate, is also the same as the six x original rate. Yeah, right. Yeah, that, that's that's what and, we're gonna and, delve into. And Chris said thirty three minutes ago. I know. Sorry. I turned it down already. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go to this topic. So, so before anybody gets a chance to actually physically test it, he's turned it back. Yeah. And he's tested it, so it's going to be okay to go it. live today, right? Okay. Just just checking that. Just checking. I, I tested it <laughs> once. I it, yeah. it, it, it passed my sniff test. Um, uh, Anpu has a question. I'm not quite sure what 6x act exactly means, but this is how current it's currently Wilk working build 1168. Take the Oracle test 10,000 on QA to 15,000. No, no, Tur read that again. Live, take the Oracle Live. test 10,000. Oh, take the Oracle test 10k, QA 15,000. Live. Turn in a dead body to Davropos, 12,800, QA, 2,400. That's what 6X is. Huh? Okay, so, uh, yeah, take take the Oracle test. Uh, actually, I misinterpreted that, so my, my testing was flawed. <laughs> I thought he was talking about the, the login bonus on that. And well... They, they were both so, absolutely the same, which should be doubled, shouldn't it? Your, your bonus? Yeah, well, so, so if you actually think about it, so we're currently in double XP, right? So that means the original XP is uh, let, 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 let's, 5 let's, let's, let's read the next, like, next paragraph okay. first. Um, huh. I suppose it's the six times the original rate. We're currently under double XP that started with the pandemic. But that was after the original rate got doubled per permanently. So the Oracle's base rate would be currently be 2,500, and six times that is 15,000. That doesn't follow with Davropos, though, but I vaguely recall that the XP given for dailies is somehow calculated based on other factors rather than just a set amount. I may well be wrong about that, though. So. But it makes some sense since I often get weird amounts for turn-ins like 61,951 or some other odd number that it would be weird for a dev to just decide it on. <laughs> That's right, Tina. We, we got to point that out. Who knows? It's just shroud math after all. Shroud math, man. Shroud uh, math. But yes. I mean, 
But yes, uh, as Jack was just saying, and as uh, Cora points out, uh, see, supposing that it's six times the original rate, because yes, technically right now we are at two times original well, rate, cur cur officially, which is correct. now single. Currently hmm. we're at 4x, not 2x. Uh, no. We were up at 4x. No, we're at 4x right now because Chris doubled the double XP. Well, we're not at anything right now on live. Let's just, let's just stop that right there. That's no, not no, live no, no, on no, live no. yet. Okay. We, we are pandemic 4x right, right, right now. And, and that, that's a mis, mis, misnomer as well. He, he was experimenting with that before the pandemic hit, and it's not because of the pandemic that that happened. Uh, he was going to, and we called it, he was going to increase that to begin with, and he was testing all sorts of variants when that happened, and he just happened to use that as his excuse to make the change. Uh, that was going to be, uh, yeah. That's for <laughs> sort of... Yes, yeah, yeah, so I'm aware that when the double XP was made permanent, that now becomes the one X, yes. Um, and, and and again, that that that's where I was going with this. Was so it is the new double, you know, considered one time because that's what everybody who comes in new thinks it is. So the new folks don't know any better. Yeah, it, and then it was doubled. But if you go back and look at Cora's post, uh, it's that six X was based off of the original one X, not the doubled that became the new 1x well, and that and that's what i believe chris is doing his math off of <clears throat> is the original 1x shroud math man shroud yeah. math but anyway is uh we're going to be looking for double experience weekend or whatever it is let's uh what did what is what did chris call it in the tweeterverse um 1.5 one one point yeah, five, so you'll be getting yeah. a fifty percent boost coming up. Yeah, but it, it, it's one where it's like, okay, what what is it going to be on production? <laughs> Double, one point five. What is it? So that way we can actually test the appropriate amount. Now, now, see Vesper, we understand the math, but when we see something like. I'm going to change the math so that this does that and this does that, but we get the same outcome that we started with originally is shroud math because we're going to change the math for the same outcome just because we feel feel like doing it as shroud math. And that's been we're, done we're, several we're... times, uh, which which brings us to, uh, yes, uh, you, you, don't, you don't have to give us the examples. Uh, double XP is stupid. <laughs> Just be idling for longer. But that brings <laughs> us to uh, recent experience changes. And this one uh, is an actual recent experience change. Yeah, so... Chiron has been and, on and hiatus. Th this is truly oh. Shroud Matt because it only applies to one skill set. So, especially just logging in to hit the Oracle and keep my my homes refreshed, roughly within the past two weeks, though, I've noticed a change, or think I have anyhow, anyway, in how XP is applied to skills that are training. One of my alts had a skill in the low 60s, and I figured I might as well train it up so every morning I'd, that after I'd collected my Oracle Welfare Gold and XP, I'd summon my pet turkey. Prior to that, I think is a change. I'd gotten the skill to 90 or, or 91 and each summon had reached the point that it would apply almost all of the 10,000 XP I'd gotten from the Oracle. This morning, after about two weeks, the summon only applied 1333. Uh, so has the way that XP is applied changed? Is my character bug inquiring minds want to know? And uh, Elgarian, can you shed light on this? And then Korra comes back. I think some taming skills were set to learn faster than they should have been. Chris recently changed those to learn slower. 
Proud man. And here's the link to the Twitter post. Yes. Yes. Because it's I, not a link to the official forums because yeah. the official forums just aren't the place to post these changes where people can search no, it, for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's all it's all uh, 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 Friday videos and Twitter because the tweets have it. So yes, uh, that 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 that's a good example of shroud math right there. Is so uh, when somebody notices that a change happens to just one skill set, um, and he's he's been tracking it, he knows what he's been doing, and all of a sudden it just goes poof, and all of a sudden it's different. That's shroud math for yeah. you. <laughs> well, and, and the uh, uh, the decimal points that keep on floating places that they shouldn't. And I know that's not variables, what a floating death point is. Variables. variables, man. Variables are hard. <laughs> variables are very hard. And it's like indexing it, uh, a database and tables, very, very hard. Optimizing your SQL queries, definitely But hard. yes, uh, this, this person noticed the change. And of course, the answer was yes, uh, there was a miscalculation, supposedly. And we had that. Uh, chat about taming uh if you want to tame things easy just heal your pet and you will learn your taming skills very nicely except now slower so if you didn't do it back in the day it's gonna take you just a little bit longer to do it now you, you should still quaff one of those uh potions and then uh get a friend that's a gm Yes, absolutely. That and, is and also have a, a good massive XP. Hard things are hard, y'all. Yeah, that's right, Bridge Troll. <laughs> hey, not for nothing, but you know, it's supposed to take you a year to get it to a GM level of one skill. Is you know, we were all for that. You know, we were really looking for you know something that you had to work for for. The rewards oh, you would, the rewards you would get for that, so that that would make something rewarding when you achieve that goal. But uh, and, you know, four and, four and minute a, GMs is where we're at now. So, <laughs> yeah. um, and Bridge Troll, like, yeah, I got to three hundred in a few months. Um, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, but yeah. Um, now, again, that, that's knowing how it's done. A new player may not know all this and take that much time to actually do it if they try and do it solo. But uh, I think uh, these days, uh, unlike the old days, it's easy just to go and look up a hint or two on the Internet and then find answers which will lead you to other answers which eventually lead you to learning. Well... It I, I disagree with that just because remember IGM oh, milling. Azazel. I'm I, all with I, you there, brother. I GM'd milling on a character that never left town. Yeah. So he's still adventurer level seven, so I can't even trade anything. And yet I have GM milling. And Laz will verify that I did not have any producer XP pool. When I GM that skill, but, but you you were running at like what twenty five thousand XP, and you were running it so low it was ridiculously stupid. No, it, it was like zero XP, and so it's it's one where it's like it wasn't like I have millions or a hundred thousand XP because I wasn't min maxing it. I was just I need to get this done, and it really doesn't affect anything. Um. Justin Not says after that. you had some help to it, figure out how to GM it. <laughs> no, but, but I, I GM'd it with that. I that character's got what 110 milling? 110, 111, ever, I, I think. think. Yeah. With Azazel says, you guys know it GM means nothing. And uh ab oh, absolutely. Is uh Azazel is uh we we are fans of you know GM being uh, truly, you know, top, 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 not halfway there. And I, I had yeah. a problem with making a hundred skill, uh, be called GM when in reality, uh, let's just bring up, uh, I'll bring up my taming tree. You're, just for you're 50% of the way there. 
I, yeah. I absolutely hate the way that we've actually. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm at 145 yeah. taming, which is, you know, way past that 100 skills. So I, I should have something either better than GM or, you know, GM should be, you know, that 200 point, which, you know, it seems to me uh, week in and week out, month in and month out, we get a little bit closer to actually being able to get to that um unattainable 200 number and uh your le legendary plus two but yeah. uh p putting that at you know gm at 100 just just wasn't right in my opinion i know people were looking forward to you know having the good old uh, warm fuzzies from uo and having something to attain and call 100 gm but 100 was gm and uo because you had a 725 skill cap before they allowed the boost to 125 of, what was it, two skills you could boost to 125, I think it was? Um, I forget what it was. I wasn't playing uh, those servers then when they added uh, that by, in. By, by the time that they really did the uh, the those legendary white scrolls that were the massive skill boost, I'd, I'd, I'd pretty much already quit UO because uh, uh, the Feluca Trammel spit, split killed uh, the servers. Um, and that's Damn pretty trammies. much when I stopped playing because fucking trammies. Um, but I mean, it, like there's so much that like doesn't make sense, um, related to that skill gain. Um, because like, we, so bring up your crafting book and go to a, any recipe. So choose like any actual recipe, not like a, a repair. Alchemy. Um, uh so potions so but like when you're i'm looking at the harp and drum one man band as well as the loot and drum one man band which both require level 70 carpentry in order to manufacture okay okay but if you remember that there was some shroud math between level 70 not actually being the skill level 70 uh yeah oh, yeah yeah you, you, re <laughs> you remember that um it so is, uh... it, it, it was the, the level was not actually the the level that was in the game it was a different level that was Let's go to alchemy <laughs> i'll get over to the alchemy tree to see that now yeah But I mean, it, it, it's one where it's like, okay, it's like these push and then like some of them, they really don't make sense as far as what the level that's assigned to it are going to actually yeah. be because I, I like, think you actually need to be at the table to get the actual uh, skill that you're at. Yeah, skill that you're at because I can't pull that up here. But uh, yeah, yeah. Le level le level 30. And alchemy is not actually level 30 for crafting, basically shroud map. Exactly. Yeah. It, and it, it's one where it's like, th this is, should be a simple problem to solve, but the complexity of the skill that's actually reported is not truly the real skill level, um, creates a, a bunch of confusion and, and it's completely unnecessary. Um, and Bridge troll, yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is having a total number of points to spend, and with seven hundred, seven twenty-five, I thought. Yeah, it was seven twenty-five. Yeah, and uh, it really did mean something to be a GM or to be a seven-time GM because not everybody uh, got all those GMs. Uh, you know, uh, while most people tried, some people were just casual players and didn't do that. They they broke up hey, their man. points in other pla places. Yeah. If you were melee, you always put eleven points in a uh, spell casting, so that way you could cast recall. <laughs> that's it, <laughs> just for recall, just just to get just out of dodge. Out recall. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but but yeah, it, it is one where it's like I, I'm a fan of like the total number of skill points that can be allocated, because it, as well as simplifying of what the actual numbers really mean. Um, I, we, we might as well take that 200 skill, reduce it to 100, um, cap that as your GM, 
turn around and uh, reduce the billions of XP, or is it trillions of XP that you required to get to 200 skill? Um, and then from there, institute a skill cap, and then you end up with diversification within the player base instead of people running around with, oh, I've got 300 GMs. I've got 97. Lass has 140. It's it's one where it's like... I don't think I have that many. I, I might be okay, close to that. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, what is mine? 117. Uh, 133. Yeah, so okay. close, close yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, it is one where it's like everybody is essentially a generalist with the GM title in those skills. Jack of all trades. I know it. If we only just change now, the game. Now, the now personally, see, the one thing that I always believe would offset a lot of that, especially in combat, and I don't know why it doesn't. Um, we were talking about the, the, the combat decks the other day, and you know, some you know, people chimed in and said, well, you know, Aside from Justin for the clothing changes, uh, some people were like, well, what about my light armor build, my heavy armor build? My, Well, if you go light armor um, versus heavy armor, if you train light armor, then light armor should offset the heavy armor skills and vice versa. You shouldn't be able to have a grandmaster in both of them and just change outfits and you, you, you automatically change specialties as it might be. Uh, same for the archery build. Uh, the archery build should hurt um, a light, not well, maybe not a light armor, but a heavy armor build. Um, that's just my two cents. You shouldn't be able to just have a hundred of everything and be able to switch nonchalantly. Not, you know, not even a skill cap there, uh, Deep Sea Dauber. No, skill cap. Yeah. Is, Max, uh, maximum is a hundred, but that 200 becomes 100. <laughs> Yep. I, I'm aware of that. Necronaut, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Get the feeling that if he bumped the uh, title out to 200, thus making it rarer and harder to obtain, we'd be hearing ne new Necronaut? complaints. Um, yeah. I will argue about a blowjob. You have to use the proper amount of teeth. <laughs> or no teeth. Exactly. That's known as yeah. a hum job. <laughs> Does Costco sell video cards? I'm sure they do. You would want to pay those prices. Uh, does, does Costco sell video cards? I don't think they do. <laughs> I know they sell PCs. Yeah. Anyway. Well, Bridge Troll, I, I can't speak from uh, experience on giving blowjobs. Uh, 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 on the receiving end, uh, I can definitely judge. But we definitely have scorecards. Yeah, and I do carry around <laughs> scorecards. Uh oh. Yeah, oh, well, man. it's 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 not uh, to actually argue. It's just uh, to talk about some of the changes that are being made and uh, how we think uh, things should be. Uh, again, this is uh, an opinion show. This is a news show. This is a little everything train wreck. We've and of been course, for fucking we, six we, years, man. We, we invite you all to come on in and argue your point with us right here in Discord every day, but none of you, none of you ever takes us up on it. I wonder why that is. Because <laughs> they love the entertainment factor. Yeah. <laughs> now we got people like Mom who are here in the room every day. She chimes in whenever she really needs to, but you know she's here hanging out just in case she needs to chime in. She just wants to laugh at us. So that way we can listen to her snort. Usually. <laughs> we still don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, exactly, Vesper. No one knows what we're talking about. Didn't we? Don't we announce that at the beginning of every show? I thought we did. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, and moving right along. Lily's back on, on my desk. Yeah. Of course, don't forget today's live stream happening this afternoon, I believe, 4 o'clock Central, 5 o'clock Eastern Time. You can check out what Chris is up to on the live stream. Oh, what, what's the phrase that pays? Um, 
Last week, I think he said they were too lazy to change it, so it's been the same since last month. But of so course, don't, spring don't, spring. Don't, don't, don't know because it hasn't been announced anywhere, and uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we don't get that information I, anymore. Yeah, you only get it by watching the, the live chat. Yeah, yes, Timey says spring has sprung, yes. And of course, you can go ahead and type that in now. And and uh, fun funny enough that uh, they did point out, yeah, like I just typed spring ha spring has sprung without the s. There we go. But you you can include that in a sentence if you want to, and it'll still get uh, added in there. And he gave some interesting uses for uh, how you could do that. I won't go oh. into that here. Interesting <laughs> uses for how you could do what? Use spring as sprung in a sentence. Oh. Anyway. The spring has sprung. Yeah. <laughs> And Lily is back underneath my microphone in front of my keyboard. Probably and Ken go what? Go cucking. Bridge Bridge Troll loves Barbie. <laughs> yes, we 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 know that. And every single Barbie game that, uh, yes, especially Barbie rides a horse, or whatever it's called. Yeah, I see. Uh, I thought Bridge Troll, are you in that party out in Iron Hall? I know you said you were going to be out in Iron Hall, but it looks like Rider Dark has got mentoring in Iron Hall out there. Oh. But Bridge Troll is in that group. Figured we go ahead and uh, give him a shout out because he does a lot of mentoring out there for those those of you folks who uh, want to get trained up. He has three hundred, as you heard here earlier, GMs. Uh, go ahead and take yourself an obsidian potion of. Is it Obsidian Potion? Of um, learning? Yes. So, yes. Of yes. guidance. Of guidance. Thank you. Thank you, Bridge Troll. So, Obsidian Potion of guidance. It'll guide you on your way to eating up your experience. Oh, yeah. But moving right along, time to talk about that NBNN Shadowy Avatar Community Calendar. You mean that thing hosted on nbnn.info where you That's just click the one. On an aggregated mess of all the Google public calendars related to Shroud that that guy knows about? And including yeah. Thorax event calendar and the Soda update upcoming events yeah. calendar as well. Don't yeah. forget, you can access all those and more. And these are brought to us by ShroudMarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs. What, what day is today? Oh, today is Friday. It's Fruck Awesome Friday, man. Come on, you can't forget that. Dude, you know I have problems knowing what day of the week it is. It, you, you don't, yeah, you don't know what time of day it is, so if after time. <laughs> Gotta go, Jack, two minutes of show time. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yep. Okay. And, uh, <clears throat> as Azel wants an obsidian potion of shagging. Hmm. Oh, um, top or bottom shagging. But Middle. Monday through Friday, 12 and 6 is around the clock. You should tune in your ether amplifiers to Wadey Radio Free Britannia to listen to two idiots interpreting the news so you don't have to on a little show called Lunch with us. At 7 p.m. this evening on WRFB is the 70s at 7 at 8 o'clock on Virtue Radio. Is Absolutely. the beat of with us. Dragonfire. Tina says, can't you just tell what time the show is by when somebody scheduled the call? <laughs> Usually right around um, show time. <laughs> my, my first meeting is 6.30 in the morning, uh, followed by, and, and lately that one's been running over an hour, um, followed by uh, an 8 o'clock meeting, a 9.15 meeting, then sometimes a 10 30 meeting and 11 o'clock meeting and then from there it's like oh shit yeah and uh let, let's just say last night i was told i'm probably going to be taking on 
another project in my oh so much free time. Um, hey, hey you. Yeah. Holy fuck. Uh, yeah. No, we, we don't keep meeting that. <laughs> In any of these meetings, it's for minutes are kept and hours are lost. Absolutely, <laughs> they're, they're they're mostly stand up meetings, um, but uh, mostly. Um, uh, then after that, yeah, Jack, keeping the company profitable. Yes, I am. I'm directly responsible for probably twenty million dollars into this company. Um. Then after that, um, 10 p.m. on WRFB is the Weckard Room with Waz's Wad, which takes us to Saturday at 9 and 8 on Virtue Radio is Echoes from the Cavern. Are they still doing that? As far as I know. Yeah. Although it's, it's only only one of them doing it. Uh, oh. I think it's just the Sleepiest doing it. I don't think Lord Baldrith is with them anymore. Yeah. Um, four o'clock on Virtue Radio, the Rockin' Power Hour with DJ Mick Foley. 4 p.m., update your fucking calendars because the EVL is doing their Virtue League PvP tournament in game. <laughs> Didn't they cancel that like uh, almost a year ago? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> haven't, attend haven't attended a tournament anywhere. Update your fucking calendars, people. <laughs> is uh, EVL that, still a thing? That, that, that's that's another question that begs to be uh, asked. But uh, yeah, good question. I know I know they still have lots all over the place, and uh, I, I matter of fact, I just checked a couple <clears throat> lots. Uh, that that's another breaking uh, breaking news. Uh, we'll break away from this for just a moment. I went out and checked CC's lot, and CC's lot's gone out in Sultan. Oh man! So, somebody else has got it, and actually, I, I've got a screenshot. Did the, H, did the H, HOA get them for uh, all I, the neon? I, well, maybe, maybe not. Uh, hold on here while we throw this screenshot in here that we can share. Okay. But yeah. Uh, this this is the the picture of the lot as it sits today. Um, Let's see if I can open. Beware here. unlicensed decorators. X light something or other. I can't Hazard. Read it. Yeah. Oh. And it's currently owned by Alaric Strife out there. Yes. I I, I like the the inclusion of the unlicensed decorator. <laughs> Beware, unlicensed decorators. That's right. Yeah. I like the warning. So, is that one of CC's alts, possibly? Uh, why I would you know. tear down that beautiful piece of advertising I, that was there in order to do that? Yeah, yeah. It, no clue. Uh, but yeah, different owner um, using the same warning sign type of thing that CC had. And also notice that there were a couple other lots that also had the similar, similar uh, looking. Uh, oh, that's Clio. Text lot, displays. Not I'm yeah, sorry, Clio. Sorry. Clio. Yeah, my bad. You all knew who I was talking about. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. All the vendors are still Clios. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, Hex. It was Clio. So maybe, maybe. For y'all, no idea. No clue. But going back to the calendar, um, that thing you should look at on Saturday, um, 6 p.m. on WRFB is Wild Safari with Twisted Sister, Fiona Wynn Wild Mane, which takes us to Sunday, starts off at 9 a.m. Uh, with Striker Sparhawks Rise and Shine. Um, at 10 a.m., update your fucking calendars because the EVL Guild's hosting a crafting fair and training. <laughs> uh, noon, faster and louder with DJ Dark Lord, Zealith Rain. 12.30, Bone Bloodgood hosting Astronomy Night uh, out in Care Drockwich. Um, 
And I, I just love the fact that the Bear Tavern is still there on Sundays, even though it's on hold for the last three years. Actually, um, there was some interesting no, no, in, information there as well. Uh, uh, the Bear Guild is uh, no longer the Bear Guild. Uh, they, they, they recently merged with, uh, the folks of Burns Reach, I understand, I believe uh, is what Burns the Reach. announcement was and, uh, move, move their operations over there as well. Uh, so, uh, there, there was a post from Vallis out there on that. Uh, and again, you gotta be paying attention to these things to know what's going on out there in the world. You, you don't have to pay <clears> attention to it. Yeah. I can't afford to pay attention half the time. But uh, meanwhile, don't forget you're tuned in to Lunch with Laz and Jack right here on NBNN.info. Twitch.tv slash Genesis, Twitch.tv slash NBNN News. Catching us in replays on YouTube, on Twitch, on WRFB, Radio Free Britannia, and anywhere else you might be able to catch us in replays. We do appreciate it. Of course, don't forget exclamation i love free shit make sure you're in for the last raffle of the day we'll be giving away yet another mystery game key and thanks to your support you've kept us here for the last six plus years bickering pondering scratching our heads wondering what is it we're doing here and all the other answers to life the universe and everything right here on this train wreck we call lunch with laz and jack so thank you all for your support we do appreciate it don't forget the Britannia Mining Company wants you to go check out Black Rock Cove, located over in the Quell region near the town of Etzer and conveniently located next to the mines that you want to be near. WRFP Radio Free Britannia, bringing you the latest news and entertainment 24-7 around the clock. Hourly world news. Two idiots inter misinterpreting the news at 12s and 6s, Mondays through Fridays, all sorts of other interesting stuff happening. And don't forget Fionn and Mild Main this Saturday night on the radio, keeping you busy while you're out there doing the grind. Troudmusic.com for ABC files. If you want to listen to the same ABC file that Jack plays over and over and over again, you can get a copy of that and more out at Troudmusic.com. Hey, man, I just looped it. <laughs> you're giving away all your secrets. Yeah. And last but definitely not least, Troudmarketplace.com. The place to go buy or sell all your virtual vendable goods here inside Shroud of the Avatar. Oh my God, is that really? You still really asking that kind of money for a hot air balloon? Dude, I haven't <laughs> changed it. <laughs> I need to go through and update all my prices. But anything and everything, ShroudMarketplace.com. Over 200 different players registered as vendors. Each vendor responsible for setting their own prices, maintaining their own inventory, and as long as they follow our guidelines of putting it up for sale putting it in a chest or in the bank and forgetting about it hey some something's gonna happen but anything and everything shroudmarketplace.com uh from accounts to game gold crowns of the obsidian cheaper than you can get from port nip all the way to services anything and everything including like deco services wedding services from that guy a divorce service that he's never listed all the way to anything. All the law offices like, Dewey, Cheatham, and how you need yeah. divorce services still, from Lazarus still, Songs, still, weddings, still and more. Still, ha you still haven't posted that. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, for Bridge Troll, if you want to divorce that duck first, you have to marry that duck. That's right. And I know I haven't done any such wedding, so. Job yeah, marketplace, so. it's where to get serviced. That's right. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody yep. has offered up those services yet. I know uh, you, you used to be as able to find as, those services out in Black Rock Cove. I know that much. As long as it's not a bannable offense, I don't give a shit. You can put it up for sale and we'll talk about it. Like mom's or refining service where she, you spend all that time mining. She goes out and, uh, uh, she gets a massive pile of coke. She has a little party, and then she turns around and gives you all those ingots. Oh, uh, and Waldo's new computer is being built. If the processor arrives next week, what processor did you get? Of course, then we want to know what video card you matched it up with. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, and, and then the next question is, where did you find it? <laughs> yeah, where, where did you find the video card? Yeah. They can be but anything, everything. Shroud Marketplace, uh, eleven nine hundred K, thirty seven fifty or thirty seventy from scalpers. Um, unfortunately, the eleven nine hundred performs. Should have should have, should have went for the ten nine hundred. Yeah. yeah, the ten nine hundred performs. Uh, better, at least he got the supposedly. at least he got the K. He can overclock. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Okay. But it is time for us to thank everybody for joining us. Um. Thank you for watching. Thank you for doing things. Thank you for being you. Thank you for participating, chatting. Otherwise, uh, this should be really boring. More Absolutely. Got to say thank you to Stymie LLTS. Long live the syndicate for his sub today. Bridge Troll and Waldo for their donations of 300 bits each. Thank you, guys. Love you guys every day, tossing us a couple of bits, keeping us going. We do appreciate it. We love you, man. And, of course, last chance. Before I and pull that giveaway. That that, that, that giveaway is closed on my stream, and the wiener is Manilkov. Manilkov, uh, congratulations on Jack's side. Yeah. And Manilkov won a copy of something that we talked about right before the show. What was that? Um, the game he just won is called Cook, Serve, Delicious. <laughs> where, <laughs> because we were talking about uh, cooking stuff before the show. Um, and that is, I believe, $9.99 on Steam. Deep Sea Dauber, not played in about a year. You guys sure convinced me to come back. Well, thank you. <laughs> yep. Closing the giveaway. Picking a winner. And Box Try, congratulations. You are our winner for the end of the day. You've got yourself a copy of Hyper Drive Massacre on Steam. And that's going for $9.99. Sorry, little dyslexic. Congratulations to you. And, of course, thank you all for joining us. We'll be back with more right here on NBNN on Monday. Till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBNN. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye. Clear.